Friends, hello! In past videos we introduced you types of running shoes. And today a logical continuation, we will find out which type is right for you. And we must admit that this is super simple and logical. Let's start. First, you need to understand your fitness level. Please note that we are talking about physical level, not running level. The fact is that any sport, be it football or badminton, develops our stabilizing muscles and ligaments. And that is why it is important for us to understand how your body developed in these directions, not your endurance or quality of your running technique. We can distinguish three levels. Beginner level, when we do sports between 0 and 2 hours per week. Intermediate level, when we do sports between 2 and 5 hours per week. And advanced level, when we do sports 5 plus hours per week. It is important to note that the number of hours of our training should be consistent for at least half a year. If you trained for 2 hours last week and 6 hours this week, it doesn't mean that you are advanced runner. Each fitness level has its own directions of running shoes. Entry-level runners do not have developed stabilizer muscles and their legs are not prepared for shock. This means they need shoes with additional stability elements, increased cushioning. Intermediate-level runners have gone through a significant amount of training. Their muscles and ligaments know how to handle the shock but still need some basic help from running shoes. And that means they need shoes with basic stabilization elements and basic cushioning. Advanced runners are ready for almost anything. They can choose shoes based on their own preferences. Their physical shape will allow them to use shoes without injuries, even with minimum stabilization and minimum shock absorption. Secondly, we need to understand what do you expect from running shoes. Each of us has own sports background, each of us runs in a different pace and with a different technique, but we have similar expectations from running shoes. We want running shoes to either run in comfortable pace or help us to maintain fast pace. For each of us, the numerical values of these types of pace will be different. Someone feel himself comfortable at 7 minutes per kilometer. Someone at 4 minutes per kilometer. A fast pace means that we accelerated, left the comfort zone and continue running in this pace. If you look at the types of trainings, comfortable pace is the pace of regular trainings, recovery crosses. Fast pace is the pace of tempo trainings, competitions. And all running shoes can be divided into two types according to this segmentation. In some it will be convenient for us to maintain a comfortable pace, in some to run faster. And it is logical that these shoes will be different for different levels of fitness level. And it is possible that entry level runners will run fast in some shoe models while intermediate-level runners will be able to run comfortably in the same models. The third, most difficult, is the physical characteristics of a runner. Let's mention few of them. A runner can be big, which means he needs more cushioning. A runner can be light, which means he needs less cushioning. A runner can have a wide foot, which means he needs a model with a wide base. They are marked with 2E standard. These three points are extremely individual and we can only recommend the direction of development of running shoes. We cannot add them to the diagram. But what we will work with is the runner may have overpronation, which means he needs more support from the inner side of the shoe. And in this case he has several choices. First, use regular models but make special corrective insoles. Use models with additional stability, but the adjustment in such models is minimal and sometimes insufficient. Use special models with additional reinforcement on the inner side of the shoe. The first two points do not create an additional need for a running shoe class, but the third one does. Let's close some common questions. 
Overpronation is a significant reduction in the arch of the foot upon landing, excessive collapse of the foot on the inside. Overpronation shoes models can be used by runners with neutral pronation. And in reverse, neutral pronation shoes models can be used by runners with overpronation. And finally, there are no separate models for supination on the market. We now understand all kinds of needs. And we hope you personally know where to put yourself. All three questions to ask yourself are How much do I train per week? For what kind of pace do I buy? What is my pronation? Very simple. Well, maybe only the third question is difficult. But you remember that overpronation can be corrected with insoles. So, if in doubt, you can buy models without additional support. And then, with the help of specialists, if necessary, produce individual insoles. Now, let's recall what types of running shoes exist on the market. Here is the hint with a video where we look at each of the segments. And now, let's assign each need to the segments. For entry level, we need more cushioning and more stabilizing elements. Therefore, at a comfortable pace, there should be a maximum number of them. At fast pace, we want lighter models, but still with basic shock absorption and stability. This will compensate mistakes in our technique. For intermediate level, basic cushioning and stability are sufficient. So, at a comfortable pace, these runners can use a wider range of running shoes. At a fast pace, intermediate runners will use lightweight models. Why not speed models? The point is that there is no cushioning or stability at all. And runners risk by using them. Runners of advanced level have stabilizers muscles and ligaments well trained. They only need the minimum level of shock absorption and stability, both for a comfortable and fast pace. Ok, now you know which segment is right for you. And remember that following the link in the description, you will find both these tables and a list of models on the market assigned by segment. And you just need to choose one of them. Small note, each person is different and we assume that a beginner could use speed models and a pro runner will use stable models. However, we believe that runners will be most comfortable in the recommended segments. The next question you have – how the models within the segment will differ from each other? And do you really think that we will not answer it? We will release such a video shortly, so subscribe. In the meantime, we recommend that you watch the video that have now appeared on the screen. By clicking on them, you help our channel to develop. Well, that is all for today. See you soon.